Welcome to this video on the topic of algebra. In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can represent algebraic expressions as flowcharts. But firstly, bed mass may be used to remember the order of operations. Bed mass is defined as brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and finally subtraction. We always do the operations seen on the far left before we do any of the operations seen on the right. Now consider if we have 3 times 5 plus 2. The operations we see here are multiplication and addition. Now unpacking what we have with bed mass up here, we know that multiplication is going to come first and then addition. So evaluating this expression, what we're going to find is that firstly we're going to go 3 times 5, which gives us 15, plus the 2. And then, taking care of the addition, 15 plus 2 is 17. So what we're able to see is that the first operation we do is multiplication. The second operation we do is addition, as defined by the order of operations stated by bed mass. Now this is useful because bed mass allows us to know how to evaluate numerical expressions, but on top of that it can also be applied to algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions may be understood using bed mass and flowcharts. Now consider if we have 3x plus 2. The first thing you'll notice here is, well firstly it's an algebraic expression because there's a variable here. The second thing you may have picked up on is that this expression over here is very similar to this original expression up here. The difference being that 5 is now an x. Now observing this expression, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a flowchart. This will enable us to understand how the expression is built. Now looking at our reference example above here, we've got 3 times 5 plus 2. Our operations are times and plus. Then here we have 3x plus 2. The 3 and the x actually means 3 times x. And since we've got times and plus, we refer to our bed mass chart and we can see that we need to take care of multiplication before we touch the addition. So, we're going to say first, multiply, second, addition. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to represent this algebraic expression as a flowchart using our understanding of bed mass. Now to do this, I'm firstly going to start off by looking at the variable. The variable in this case is x. So I'm going to write x. Then I'm going to box it up. Next step is I ask myself, if I were evaluating this, what would the first operation I do be? And in this case, we see the first operation is multiplication. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do multiplication by three. That's going to mean that this x is going to turn into three x boxing this up and then commencing the flowchart. The operation I did here was times 3. Next step, I look across and I say I've done the multiplication what comes next and it's plus 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this 3x over here into a 3x plus 2. That will become 3x plus 2. Boxing this up and then showing the operation. And thus, what we've completed is a flowchart demonstrating the order of operations to build this expression over here. Moving along, next example we have 5z minus 10. Using the understanding that we applied up here, we're going to turn this algebraic expression into a flowchart. Analyzing what we have, we have 5z, which means 5 times z, so we've got a multiplication, and we've got a subtraction. Understanding the order of operations, we refer to bed mass and we see multiplication comes before subtraction. So this guy will be first, followed by multiplication first, subtraction second. Putting this together, my unknown is z, and I'm going to box it up. First operation we do to z is multiplication. Multiplication by 5. This z turns into 5z. Boxing it up and showing the operation. Next, we have 5z. Next operation we do is subtract by 10. So I'm going to say 5z take away 10. 
boxing it up, my operation was subtract 10. And thus, we have converted another algebraic expression into a flowchart. Moving along, we increase in complexity. We have 2y over 3 plus 4. Once again, we're going to build another flowchart. Understanding what to do, we see we have a multiplication, we have a division, and we have an addition. Understanding the order of operations here, we look at bed mass. We have multiplication, division, addition. We have division first, multiplication second, addition third. So we're going to go division first, multiplication second, addition third. Building our flowchart. Our unknown is y. y is first going to be divided by 3. So I'm going to say y will be divided by 3. Next, our second operation is multiplication. We're going to multiply y by 2. Carrying this out, we're going to get all over 3. There was a y and it got multiplied by building the flowchart. I box it up and I show that my operation here was multiplication by 2. Finally, the third operation is addition. I'm going to add 4 to this expression in here. This is going to become, I've got 2y all over 3, and then I add 4. Boxing this up, drawing the flowchart. And thus, I get to my final expression here. So not only does this flowchart show us what the expression is, it shows us how the expression is put together starting from the variable. Moving on to our final example. D. We have 3 plus x plus 1 all divided by 2. Our trickiest example of them all. Analyzing what we have here. We have an addition. We have another addition. And we have a... Now at first glance there's more than what meets the eye here. We have two additions and a division. We might think automatically that division will come first here. However, because there's a fraction here, what this implies is that in the numerator, there are always invisible brackets. As a result, we're not just dealing with addition here, we're dealing with bracketed addition. And consequently, we find that we've got brackets, addition, and division. Going to bed mass, we see we've got brackets first, then division, then addition. Therefore, unwinding this out, we're first going to need to do our addition inside of the brackets, followed by our division, then finally our addition. Building the expression, I start off with our unknown, in this case it's x. I then say, what am I going to do to x? Well, first I'm going to do addition, add by 1. x plus 1, just like that. Next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the division. Division by 2, that's going to be x plus 1, all divided by 2. Boxing this up, and then finally, we've got addition of 3. Putting this together, I've got x plus 1, all over 2 plus 3 and thus we complete the flowchart. Now one of the things you may have noticed is that this final expression here looks cosmetically different to what we have here. It's important to remember that the order of terms within an expression is unimportant. As such, what we can do is we can say that 3 plus x plus 1 over 2 are identical in value. Remember, the order of terms within an expression are not important. Now, in summary, what we had a look at in this video was firstly, we revised the concept of bed mass and how it can be used to tell us how to evaluate numerical expressions. After which, we use this knowledge here 
to then analyze and understand how we put together algebraic expressions. This allowed us to draw flowcharts that visualize the steps we take if we were to evaluate them if we knew the value of the unknown.